Okay, students, I want to introduce you to a new technology device that we're going to be using for our freshman math one class. Um, I've taught this class in the past and I've had different online materials spread at different locations throughout the internet. But we're going to use this new tool called Google Communities in order to have a single landing page, one site that has all the information for all the class. We will, in class, demonstrate how to get signed on to this. But what I'm, this tutorial is going to show you is a very simple navigation of how to find material once you're to this page. So here's a couple of different things that we have here. This will be for our new Math 1 class coming in for the 2015-16 year. Notice on the right-hand side, we will have different links to our different content. So one link we'll have here is, for instance, Google Drive. So if you click on here, this will be all the different materials that we'll have for class. So notice we have um, different units, unit A, unit B. So you can simply click on these units and you can get all the different worksheets, guidelines, practice problems, whatever it may be. Also, what we have in the link here in this upper right hand corner is links for just about everything. Uh, our calendar, which will be a Google Calendar. So if you want to look for what's our homework for tomorrow, what's the next test. Obviously, nothing's on here yet because we'll add that as the class develops. Um, but that is where the calendar will be located. This is also another tool that we'll be using this year. Um, it's an online calculator. So this is a hyperlink to that. And this is a nice graphing element where we can simply write expressions and graph. So we'll be using this a lot during class and during your practice problems. And the other thing we have here as well is different um, content videos that I will either produce or find online via YouTube. And I'll post the link here to that playlist. So notice here's a playlist that I uploaded that we'll be kind of referencing early in the semester here and all the different videos that you'll be required to watch will be right there. So this will be a current playlist of what we need to do. Um, over on the left hand side, we will have, I have loaded the class already that we'll have coming into this next year. And then all the different links to the different chapters. So for in unit H, which is the main thing we might start off with the geometry, um, will be, you can click on this and it'll filter all posts into there. So I'm going to show you how I, as a teacher, will post something, and then you, as a student, can then view it. So what I may do is pull up a video that I want you to watch. So let's say this one here, find the x and y intercepts of a line. So instead of telling you to go to YouTube and find this, what I'll do is I'll copy this link, and then on our Google Communities page, I will make a post of that. So I'm going to post the link. Um, so I'm going to attach the hyperlink I just copied. There it is there, and notice it puts a nice little image so you can kind of see what you're looking at, which is kind of nice. And then I can add it to whatever category. So I'm going to add it to um, this unit here, a study. And then I'll put a little note here and it says, okay, please watch for our first lesson. And then I can go ahead and put share. So the nice thing is, it will show up here, and then when you go to our community site, this will be here. You can add a comment, like if you had a question about it or something you liked. As a student in this class, you could comment here, or if you had a question for me, you could post it here, and I could reply to it. Um, so it's a nice little social media blog interface that we could have here. But again, to, the purpose of this tutorial video is to show you how this is a landing page uh, one site interface for our class where we'll have different links for different materials that we'll use on a daily basis as well as an organization of all the different units and then posting of different materials that I want you to do on a either unit by unit basis or on even a daily basis. So these are some just informative tutorials on how we can use Google um, communities for our math one class.